my name's Mark Richards and uh, I'm from South Croydon. The volunteering I've done, I, I've, I've been doing this for 30 years, so there's a, a wide range of volunteering that I've, I've done in the past. My work with uh, refugees and asylum seekers has again opened my eyes to the suffering that goes on and the lack of knowledge, the lack of awareness of the general public. We set up a sports um, session in the local um, sports centre and um, just invited them to come. We would put leaflets out in the different hotels in, in our area and just invite everybody to come along. Now what that created was, was a different range of abilities, cultures, languages, backgrounds. Um, and that was a real challenge then for us to break those barriers, bring everybody together. Uh, and one case, we had a, a young man come in and then talking to him, he'd never kicked a ball before. And what I encouraged was that idea of helping each other. Um, and so that was only six months ago, maybe a little bit more. He's now playing in our 11 aside team in competition. And to show that change in his life, the smile on his face, the confidence it gives him, the conversations we have, the fact that he tries to learn some Spanish to talk to the others, um, was a real reward, really deep felt. It becomes um, important to them to be part of a group, to feel settled in a, in a strange new country. Um, and I think team games particularly, and team uh, discussions, groups getting together and just sitting down, uh, is so important. The people I meet, the people who I uh, have contact with in the volunteer sector, um, if they were just to pull the plug and leave everybody for themselves, the misery, the human misery that it would create would far outweigh any economic crisis. It is that serious um, and so we need more volunteers.